Monsters. I got some dumb I got some dumb football questions for you guys loaded up here. We also Holy have a film breakdown this week dropping on one of the most explosive running backs last season, Devon Achan. So keep an eye out for mm. for that on the uh, O line committee YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and the like button too on the O line committee YouTube channel. We're up over twenty thousand subscribers in one year. So thank you guys for for jumping on board here. And you can always submit your dumb football questions in the YouTube comment section. No question is too dumb to bring up here. Let's start with this one. Stewie Fly wants to know, what can you guys share with us about NFL equipment managers? Any fun stories? Who are the best and who are the who are the worst? You want to throw any random bad NFL equipment managers under the bus? Like what what does an NFL equipment manager do and what does he mean? They are your boys. Forever, 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 dude. You want to talk about the dudes? I mean, the, like the, the deflator du- dudes. Like, hey, the I best. need you guys to sneak something into the carts. <laughs> yeah, dude, no problem. Could get us all in a lot of trouble. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> fucking love you. Like, the answer with them is never no, mm-hmm. and they'll fucking do whatever you need them to do. But I'm going to warn you. At the end of the year, there's greens fees. Everybody on that fucking team pays greens fees. Everybody. And they pass this sheet around, and it automatically gets deducted from your check. And I can tell you right now that you get judged by how much you put in. And that is no bullshit. Like, dudes are throwing in 10 bands, 20 bands. You're giving money to the fucking cooks, the chefs. Like, there are certain people that you take care of. Cooks and chefs, EQ, trainers. Don't you ever fuck with those three. Because if you do, they'll cut you. I'm not even kidding you. They'll fucking cut you. EQ has a problem with someone. Nobody can save you. Mm -hmm. Dennis Ryan was the scariest man. Because I didn't, like at first, Vikings. I didn't know his personality, right? And I had come from San Francisco where it was like, bro, there are no rules. Let's just do what we want. Like, shit. My locker was like Christmas every day. Like it was like, <laughs> hey, I gotta get some shit home to some people. And all of a sudden, box, 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 box. Booney, you need us to ship this for you. Appreciate y'all, man. Like, but you oh, and they also do squares. We would do squares with them. Like we we did you never do squares during What's baseball square? season. Uh-huh. You know where you buy squares in baseball and like the numbers have to line up. So you have like you pick this grid and then we're gonna do squares. Uh it's during the baseball playoffs and you get yeah. a grid. It's like, the, like the zero score to nine. Game. Yes. And the score it's of the game. for like March Madness. Yes. There's a lot of. Yeah. Dude. You have to remember baseball's not my thing, boys. Oh, no, no dude, but this wasn't my thing either. This is how I kind of got into baseball was this, this game. This is how Jake could get into baseball. Well, you're not rooting oh. for anything except for the score. The score. To be specifically you just want five the score. To four. <laughs> right. Hey, dude, it's a lot. And hey, I'll tell you what, too. They are awesome guys because they if you're cool with them, they'll pack up your bag for you like They'll, they, I won't say they'll pack up your bag because no one's packing your fucking shit for you. But they'll look through it real quick if when you're done to be like, hey, you forgot your knee braces. Or they'll be like, hey, you forgot your you know whatever, whatever. Or hey, you told me earlier in the week you wanted to pack those extra cleats. You want me to throw these in here? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, thank you so much. They only do that with the boys they like. After that, there are guys that they would like would forget their shoulder pads. And they would be like, well. I guess Dum Dum's not playing this week, <laughs> and just throw it on the bus, and you'd be like, "For real?" They'd be like, "Yeah, fuck him, fuck him." You'd be like, "Yeah, yeah fuck I mean, him." If is you, right. if Sounds you, good. If you left your locker area a mess, they hated oh, you. Like, if you would just throw your tape on the ground and leave your lunch trash and stuff, like they hated you, right? Because they're the ones that have to pick that up. That's their yeah. job is to go through and make the locker room look presentable. And so, yeah, you and you always had your guy, right? Like Terrell Barnes from the Vikings was my guy Terrell's like he was my guy he's still there yeah so is Adam lead. right and still is Adam like because you always have a guy where like if in the middle of practice you rip a glove mm. or like something's wrong you'd be like hey T T glove and he'd be like I got you and he'd take off I mean <laughs> dead sprint I'm this dead dude was fucking like no 100, 100 I'm talking 100 meter Ooh. dash form sprint boom into the line like and I he love comes him. sprinting right back out brand new pair of gloves you need anything else you good like i got you man thank you right and so there's the sheet like alex said where you tip out everyone as a whole but then you would always tip out your guy individually even more mm-hmm. like i would always like tom tom um oh what was Humphrey? the trainer tom 
Hunk- Tom yeah. Hunkley, right? He was the guy that taped my ankles every day. Love Tom. He was the guy that if I had a rehab issue, I went in there and he was the one that I did my rehab with. And so like at the end of the year, you tip out the trainers as a whole, but then you go to your guy and be like, hey, thank you for taking care of me this year. Same with the cook, right? You always have your guy, right? The guy in Buffalo, his name was Bill. Dude, would rem- he made it his job to remember your breakfast order every single morning. So when you would walk into the cafeteria, you'd be like, Bill, good morning. He'd be like, two eggs, sausage, crispy hash browns. I'll have it out in two minutes. Thank you, Bill. And you'd Thanks, go sit Bill. down and then he'd Buffalo fuck it Bill. out to you. Dude. Right? Like, you always have your dudes. Now, I will say, in San Diego, my rookie year, I can't remember the guy's name, but he got fired for stealing oh, from, no. from equipment. From, yes. This is a like, big thing. This is a big thing. Yeah. He got fired for stealing and selling stuff. Yep, they uh, sell so it like a f- like official team merch kind yes, of, kind of yep. stuff. Yes. Yeah, and he he got caught he got caught for stealing official team merch or like, hey, this is a game worn Philip Rivers glove or something like that, and he got caught selling it on eBay, and so he got fired. I don't even remember his name because uh, I was only there for. Yeah, a you year. probably shouldn't have your screen name on eBay. Be <laughs> official Chargers yeah. trainer, <laughs> right? Yeah, no, but yeah that is that is a big thing. Guys steal stuff, and that is the number one rule in the locker room: is you can never ever take anything out of EQ unless you ask them. Like yes. as long as you ask them, the answer will always be yes, unless mm-hmm. it's like a limited product. Like I remember one time when I yeah, first like came the, to the league, the like the camo hoodies. Yeah, right? like you can't the, take the, the crucial, camo hoodies. The, cru- the crucial catch, like when you only yeah. get a fine out of my number. They'll but like, give you them at the end of the year, but you can't take them until they give them to you, right? Like yeah. those are the ones that they're like, hey, we need these for coaches and guys on the sidelines at yes. all times because they're official gear. But yeah. at the end of the year, Booney, I'll put a couple away for you, and you be like, oh, appreciate you, dude. Thanks so much. You ever get caught stealing something? out of eq you will get fined in every room the team will fine you and then they're going to cut you afterwards so they're going to take your check from you your last one and then they're going to fucking cut you dude they're they're they hate that shit but i dude eq is the best we loved them t adam still there at at the vikings Uh, i I wish dennis was still there he retired what two years ago yeah 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 no they were yeah awesome and and dude dennis went back generation dennis went back to like the bu- purple I think people the eaters, Bud Grant days, yeah. So he yeah. saw, man, like late I'm 70s. You, if you 80s, ever want to ask stories, they ask the, the EQ guys because they're in the <laughs> locker room, yeah. right? Like the trainers in the training room, uh, coaches, but like the EQ guys, they hear all Everything. and they see all. They they're just all walking the around picking up towels. They're picking up laundry bags. Like if people could write a book about the inner workings of the NFL. It would be a collection of all thirty-two equipment managers, dude. And he's not lying. Tell, be a great they, book. The stories that those dudes could tell of what they've seen over the years would rattle so many people. Let's grant like, them dude, all. I'm talking. I'm talking like hey, people would be no. reading it, just shaking. Like there's you're no not way kidding. That actually you, happened. Like oh no. If you change, yeah. <laughs> if you change some of the names in the book, I bet you that'd be a number one best art because hundred percent. You're so used to seeing them around that you're not afraid to talk yeah. around them because not only that, they kind of bait you into shit. They kind of start telling you about what they did in the weekend, and then you're like, "Yeah, well, let me tell you what the fucking rookie did. What a dumbass!" <laughs> and instantly you're like, "Oh shit! I just told I just told the EQ about what we did. Oh fuck! Uh, hey, no. Don't tell anybody." And you're like, and then you start to think like, I "Guarantee you, they're all in there talking about it right now for sure." But they are awesome dudes. They keep secrets better than anybody. The best part is. I don't know if I should say this, but like on game day, they're all hung over, which is even better because the night before they always go out. Like we would come up from meetings and they would be going down. Yeah. And they'd be all like, dressed, you guys, dressed to the nines. To the nines. They'd be like, you guys going to bed? You getting ready for curfew, pussies? <laughs> Fuck you, man. They're like, we're going to go out till four in the morning. Hopefully we don't forget your stuff tomorrow. Like, yeah. like, oh God. Oh God. And they're hey, and here's another thing. So here, shout out to Doc San Francisco. Doc was the one that would always tape me up. Jay, did you have a guy that would like do your pads for you? Because like, you'd have yeah. to hold your Adam. arms up. And he, Adam, Adam, Adam was my guy. I'd be like, Adam did me here. <laughs> yep. Hold your and hands Doc up. did me. And so you'd, they were so tight. Your jerseys were so tight. You have to hold your arms up like this. And it'd be like rolled up. He'd be like, quick, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And they'd like tighten your stuff for you and then rip it all down. And then they'd always punch you before you go. I'd be like, ah. dude, I'm telling you, EQ, every one of you guys, I fucking love you to death like those guys you can't do it without them they're and they're so funny none of them are ever serious none of they are almost like their job is to make you laugh at all times like they'll just come in and say the dumbest shit and you'll be like what my like, right my last my last quick story so my college eq guy is like Dennis. he's been here through all the regimes jay terry been here through them all and the best is 
Coach Bo used to make him during our pra- like our scrimmages. He would be the ball spotter. Bo Pelini, right? This Bo Pelini, yeah. And so like, and he still to this day does it. I think he secretly loves it. Like, and so like, we, he'd be like, oh, he was tackled second and eight, and we'd be like, what the hell, Jay? That was a four yard run. And he'd be like, ah, and he'd like get super rattled, and he'd, like he'd be running around, and even sometimes Bo would get on, and be like, get the ball set, and he'd, ah, and he'd like run around, or like if the equi- if the headsets would go off on the on the sideline, oh, it was like man. he would he'd have like, he was so paranoid about the headsets not working, he'd have like three pairs of like spares on him at all time. <laughs> like, he'd have like two around his neck. He'd be wearing one. And if all of a sudden the headset got out, or Pelini used to break them all the time, he'd be like, here you go. Like <laughs> it was, it was Dude, incredible. I love that was dudes. Doc. That was Doc They're Dressler the in San Francisco. I fucking love him. I do. I do. Johnny out there. God I still bring my. I bring my kids in there. And be like, you guys want a t-shirt? Want a hat? Want to take some gloves? And be like, yeah. They're like, oh, perfect. Just empty. Like. They're the best. Love your kids. So we learned uh, eBay, good business opportunity, a book, <laughs> which like a shadow author book, some good business opportunities here. Yeah, uh, book, Tony I'm Owens, we should we, we should legitimately try and make that happen. Tony Owens in the YouTube comment section says, "What the heck is a quality control coach in the NFL? <laughs> what do they do?" We kind of wondered the same thing. <laughs> All right, so listen. When I was here, it was Janoco. <laughs> Yeah, and you're like, what? So, what do you, know, you do here? I control so, the quality. Okay. He would sit in the back of the room and just be like, and I would be like, what do you but, do? But, all he, fucking but day? he became like a quarterback's coach yeah. at one point. So you, but you start like, there's there. these weird rules with them where like you can't actually like coach. No. Like, it, like a lot of them are like want to be coaches, but like there's strict rules that like you can't speak. You right. can't help They're guys. Kind of like, wasn't Kevin if, Stefanski if make a Vikings quality control coach? Long time like, ago. A lot, of quality all the way up. a lot of the quality control guys' main jobs are drawing scout cards. Yes. Which, if you ask me the worst job in the NFL, Easily. it's the scout team coordinator mm-hmm. of like, hey, we need you to draw 50 cards every single day to script out all of practice. And you've got to make sure the cards are right because nothing – will piss off a coach more and i do mean this nothing will piss off a coach more than if the scout card is wrong like i mean i've seen the fucking like, safety's not supposed to be he's there. gonna stand here not here did you watch the tape the guy's just like, holding the card up like and especially Fraley. like like <laughs> dude remember those Hank? dudes we get yeah. on Hank so bad fuck oh. Fraley. <laughs> yeah they in like my and i was i was terrible this when i was with buffalo i used to watch the scout card as the center, when I was running the scout team is for the center, oh, and I'd be terrible. like, I'd be like, they're not going to do that, and he'd be like, yes, they are. I'd be like, okay, sure, and then I'd get up to the line and be like, hey, safety, stop, we're going left, and then like we'd go left and pick up the blitz like right into the teeth, and I, McDermott would be like, what the, f-? and I'd be like, hey, sorry, coach, I saw it. The scout guy's like, I will stab you, sir. I will stab <laughs> you if you don't just do what the card says i'm like all right whatever run it again like but like oh yeah those quality control guys that have to like draw those cards so stressful it's the worst they take this shit from everybody and not only that you have to take it from the players too because we're all looking at them too like quality control huh (laughs) so basically your job is just all of the bitch work that you're grunt be done and if you can shit, prove that shit you can rolls go down hill, if you can you're do it, you can be a coach. Though, if you can yeah. do it, they'll let you be. A Maybe coach. you can be the assistant offensive line coach yeah. after you go through it. Shit and rolls right. downhill, and you're at the bottom with your yeah. mouth open, dude. That's what a quality bottom. control coach is. Bottom, <laughs> Gull- down the gullet, just yep. a big pile wear it of shit. too. Um, XT nine two 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 here. Yeah, we got time for another one or two. Oh yeah. When the star receiver complains about getting the ball, even when the team is winning, do the players, do do his teammates find that annoying or do they support it? Like what happens if the game plan was switched to cater to the star player and the team starts losing? Have you guys ever been... I've never really been a part of that. This is I'm less common than it seems, I feel like. Yeah, it's not really like that. But if like it were to happen, Owens. a lot of us probably would have been like, shut the fuck up. How about that? Like, well, very rarely does it happen when you're winning. Yeah, like you don't dubs you, are dubs. unless you're unless you're like diva diva, like and you're you're winning and it's like you're up by ten points, or whatever. And they're like, why aren't you throwing me the ball? So like, we're running the ball, stupid. Like we we have a lead. Like you yeah. usually see more of a riff like that when teams are losing. And the, like Buffalo last year, for example, is a great example, right? Buffalo struggling down the stretch, and Diggs is like, why am I not getting the football? Right, like that's usually where you see it, and then 
that raised a question like why aren't you getting the football are you not open is josh mm -hmm. not throwing it to you like are they double bracketing you like there's so many questions that come to it but you know that's where you see it more is when because it's really easy when you're winning all is forgiven right like you get a dub at the end of the day everyone's happy like everyone's in the locker room everyone's good and maybe there's something but like when you're losing and when you're losing repeated games in a row multiple games in a row the finger pointing is really like it's ruthless is it is it your fault it's no, not it's my yours. fault. It's your fault. No. Right? Like, I did my job. It's your fault. Like, that starts, and that that is a cancer that will kill a team faster than anything I've ever seen before in my life. And that's also a time that everyone will be like, hey, shut the fuck up. I'm telling you, nothing worse than a player calling for the ball or when you do player-only meetings. God, the minute they say player-only meeting, you might as well just pack it up, call it a day. That's when, <laughs> guys, guys, we can We're do We're better this. than this. We are so much better than this. We don't need these guys <laughs> coming here yelling at us like this. Come on. Dude, it's it's that's when you're like, hey, let's just shut up and go back to the fundamentals, right? Like, that's what you say to guys when they're a do bitch. You're just like, hey, dude, we're either or, we're winning or hey, we're trying to figure it out. Or hey, we can't fucking throw the ball right now. Why? Because we're missing two guards, or we're missing our center, or we're missing something. Like, you gotta fucking chill. And I get well, it. Like, there's a lot of frustration on the sidelines. I think Jeremiah saw me frustrated a lot. And I was yeah. I mean, there was a lot of times I was screaming at people, but that's just kind of how it is on the sideline. But I think it's not so much people saying, throw me the fucking ball, as much as it's like, what are we fucking doing? Like the receivers on the outside are questioning what the O line are doing, the O line's questioning what the running backs are doing, the running backs are questioning what the quarterback's doing. Like everyone's just like, Where are we messing up? Yeah, we have the ten disconnect? seconds to there's figure a disconnect it out somewhere gotta go right now no one's ever like i need the ball like you would see a lot of people go you're out go home well if Don't you, and also back. if you if you put yourself in that position you're putting so much added pressure on yourself like for the rest of the team like if you're screaming like i give me the ball I want the ball, and then you go, I don't know, fumble against the Colts when you get the ball after yelling at your old line like everyone's gonna look at you and be like you wanted the ball dude what the hell happened right or if you're like a receiver and you drop a pass and you try and do like, oh, that's my bad. That's my bad. Be like, no, asshole, you that. asked for this. You asked for this, dude. You were the one that was over here screaming at us 10 seconds ago about just hold your blocks and I'll get this put together. And then you go drop the football. Don't ever speak to me again. Like, don't ever come at me like that again. Like, there's so many Calm. of those things. If you if you're willing, sorry, I get really mad Calm about that. Down. That cold. Those fumble. are just. I, just that hey, cold I put. Random, I was there with you for a minute. Specific <sighs> examples. Hey, I was there with you on both examples for a minute, and I was like, all right, don't go any farther. You're good. Sorry, let it go. I'm, let it yeah, go. My <laughs> blood pressure's through the roof. It's good. Um, good. But yeah, I mean, if you if you have the balls to say that to another professional football player, you better be perfect. You better be perfect because if you're not, guess what? We're all gonna let you know about it. Yeah. You better be We're all gonna be like, hey. I thought you said you were the savior here. Let's run that tape back. Was that you? Oh, that was you. Shut up. Don't ever speak. Dude, that would Kill be the coaches. The coaches would respond to you like that. Like they the would be like, yeah, what, wasn't it you? If you're getting yeah. on the players like that, and because you're also going to yell at the coach, the coach will be the same one be like, hey, you wanted this. You asked for this, and I put you in the yeah. perfect position, and you're the one that let everyone down. Yeah. Dude, I feel like that that happens more when there's an absence of an established quarterback maybe there's yeah. young guys there's in the offensive issues. line room. there's just no issues leaders across yeah. the board because yeah. there's leaders that are out there all the time like shut up right now don't you <laughs> dare. like they're you're thinking like the quarterback's working at a mega level to figure out what's wrong the old line is the next to figure out what's wrong and then everybody else on, underneath us is like what's the problem you're constantly like, shut the fuck up who the fuck asked you anyways moron Finish what you were saying before we were rudely interrupted. <laughs> like, seriously, how many meetings will we be in with the quarterback? They'd be like, hey, listen, we're not going to do this. We're going to slide it this way. And all of a sudden, she'd be like, what the fuck? You'd be like, serious right now? Fuck away from us. God. Coaches be like, yeah, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Tight ends oh, are trying to come in. Like, hey, we're going to do oh, this. But oh, don't speak. Oh, don't speak. Oh. Leave. Don't even I, don't look, I look I at me. I get PTSD from that. <laughs> False. <laughs> advertising here's what we're gonna do guys you shut the fuck up right away you're not making any more calls you, you making calls got us in this situation i'll tell you this the tight ends against in 2016 the tight ends and boone got into such an issue that our line coach stopped coaching us throughout the entire second half listen here's what happened here's what happened we kept running power we were it was a juicy one back front. power one back we power are, we are going to run this juicy front it's oh, a 4-2 defense you got fletcher cox at three technique <laughs> finally get a little bit on him we are like i need you 
to go all the fucking way down to the mic, okay? Just get the fucking mic. They're like, okay, okay. Every time the mic makes the play, I come off the field and Tony's like, we're not getting the mic. And I go down there and I go, hey, you said you would get the mic. Mike is 50 fucking eight in case you didn't fucking know. They're like, okay, yeah, we got him. Next series, three and out. And I get in the mic. <laughs> Took helmet, threw it. It's like, I'm fucking going to get the mic myself then. And Tony's like, you're yelling at me. Dude, they caused me and Tony to start riffing at each other. I was so Dude, high. Tony got so mad. He spiked, so he spiked the iPad. Right, Tony spikes the iPad and was like, "Fine, you do it then," and walks away. And we're like, "All right, everyone, calm down. We'll be fine." We go do our next series. We come back. We sit on the bench. Tony's nowhere to be found. And we're like, "Where's Tony?" And we look down at the edge. He's just standing. And we're like, "All right, well, I guess we're just rolling in this one with the with the rest of what we got here, boys. Let's just figure it out and go." <laughs> it was. Bad. It would have just gotten the mic. Was, was this bad. the game? Where 2016 Philly. Mike uh, Zimmer called the offensive line out after yeah, you guys said we were lost. Soft. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Did he yeah. slice up stuffed animals and put blood on them, or was that that was after that? That was after the five and zero start, and it was the fat cats get slaughtered. Jeez. Fat cats, get fat, slaughtered. Yeah. fat <laughs> cats, fat cats get slaughtered was the was the theme. And I remember we walked into the lo- we walked into the, the locker room. We're like, what's up with the stuffed animal massacre in here, dude? Like, there's just <laughs> <laughs> headless cats with like red marker <laughs> drawn across but the problem was like so did the media like the yeah. media was allowed in the locker room and the media is like what's what's with the stuffed animals boys and we're like we don't we don't know <laughs> like we don't we don't understand what's it's happening. a crime scene don't touch anything yeah. <laughs> please yeah the, but then we got their team meeting and the theme was fat cats get slaughtered and guess what we got fucking slaughtered boys. we got fucking <laughs> slaughtered boys hey i will say this the next day i remember walking into work and i was like me and tony are gonna have to make up for this like we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do something we hadn't spoken the whole day and i remember i walked upstairs and you remember how you would walk up and you could go left or right right was zims and left was assistants yep. as soon as i turned to the left tony was standing right there like he had been like I, somebody had told him i was coming up steps he's just standing there like this waiting for me bona you have a fucking yell at me like that again <laughs> i'll fucking kill you <laughs> tony I, i'm sorry i didn't mean to yell at you it's like my frustration was really at the tennis boom you have a fucking yell at me like that again in front of anybody. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Tony, I'll never yell at you like that again. He goes, okay, I love you. Now get the fuck <laughs> out of here. <laughs> oh, thanks, Tony. What a legend, man. I know, man. I fucking, that's a shame. You know, People, I miss Tony. If you haven't, I think it's on YouTube, but he did a thing because he was the Raiders coach for a minute, right? Yeah, he was the and intern. He, they got off to a bad start or something, or maybe yeah, they fired a coach. Hugh Jackson, whatever. right? They fired Hugh Jackson. Okay, and he takes over, and he gives a speech. He's got a shovel. We're gonna bury this football in the ground. We're gonna bury the everything that's happened. It's going in this grave. Whatever you want to put in here, put 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 footballs, whatever. One of the great Tony Sprott. Tony, speeches, man. Tony's dude. Tony. He used to go into his room and then all the lights would be off, and he'd have like a couple candles lit, and you'd be like, "What the fuck?" And he'd be like, "My wife came in here and decorated for me. I think she does a great job." It, his room smelled amazing. You'd watch film. You weren't <laughs> upset about anything. Like you were like, oh, "This is fucking great." So <laughs> do more of this. And then he had a little secret room in the corner that nobody else had. It was like a secret closet. I'd be like, "What are you doing there, Tony?" But none of your goddamn business. My bad. My bad, Tony. Dude, what a legend, man. Those are your dumb football questions here for the week on O-Line Committee. Yeah, hit us up. Send us a bunch more for the summer here because we got a lot more time to go through them until preseason games hit. But, uh, yeah, click that like button, the subscribe button on the O-Line Committee YouTube channel. That's Alex Boone, Jeremiah Searles, Phil Mackey. We'll see you guys next time.